What's up, y'all? How is everybody doing today, man? Y'all, this you know how I go. It's your boy. Be back with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something really, really easy and simple. A lot of people have been asking me how to do this. What do I think about Facebook ads? I'm going to break it all down right now in this video. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Jones, and I specialize in helping you make an extra income. If you guys are phone flippers or not phone flippers right now, I'm going to tell you something. This is the channel. This is the place for you. I am a hustler, okay? I'm sure you're a hustler as well. One thing about a hustle is we don't quit. We always find a way. So if you are somebody that is a phone flipper, you need to make sure that you're always finding new ways to reinvent your business. Make sure that you are inspecting what you expect and getting the results that you need. All right. Now, I know a whole bunch of people. You got a whole bunch of excuses. You got a whole bunch of problems. All right, I don't deal with problems. I am the resolution. I am a problem solver. Okay. I'm not a problem. Don't care about no problem. Don't care about what's going on. You won't get nothing but transparent stuff from me. You ain't going to get no fluff. You ain't going to get no BS. You ain't going to get no bull crap. You're going get something that you need i'm gonna show you guys the direction i'm gonna give you exactly what tools you need and i'm gonna let you go and do your thing i teach foundation i do not teach you exactly what to do i let you do it how you want to do it and it's the same thing that i'm gonna go do today so if you're somebody right now that has been asking me how do i set up facebook ads i'm gonna tell or first of all before i even go through the how you set up facebook ads I want to talk about what I think about Facebook ads, okay? I am not retracting. I am not changing. I hate Facebook ads. Now, let me explain to you why I don't like Facebook ads. Because a lot of these phone flippers, they're going to make it seem as if only um, the Facebook ads are generating them enough leads to be able to make a profitable living. And that is not the case. You should not rely on any type of system. Any, and I'm talking about, let me be really, really specific when I'm talking about a system, okay? I do not rely on anything to literally help me make money besides something that I'm manually doing. I'm going to say it again. I don't let anything, any system, any platform dictate what I can do, okay? I like to network and build networks so that I never ever have to rely on anything because the system can go down, the ad cannot promote to the right individual, and I ain't gonna lie, sometimes you might not even know and be ignorant on how to access these certain platforms and these certain techniques, but you still gotta make money. I started in the streets, all right? I'm not talking about I started in the streets hustling or anything like that. No, I started selling phones in the street. I started hanging up flyers on poles at bus stops, transportation centers, on buses, um, in churches, handing them out at McDonald's, the movies. That's how I started. I started hustling my butt off. I'm going to tell you something. If you want to buy phones for a living and you want to be able to travel, because I ain't going to lie, buying phones allows me to be able to travel and make money. It allows me to be able to do whatever I want, wherever I want, however I want, right? But one thing I will say is Facebook ads is something that I would do when I am good at figuring out how to make money on my own, okay? Like, I'm not going to put money into a Facebook ad campaign when I can't make money on my own. Why? Because it does not make sense. If I am literally making the ad work for me and make me money and depending on that ad what happens when the ad is no longer beneficial what happens if the people in the demographic in my area is not um seeing the ad or not reacting to the ad or let's say they are reacting to the ad and everything is so hot and i'm making this money and i'm doing what i gotta do what happens when it just stops what happens when COVID breaks out what happens right I'm gonna tell you something. That's why you need to have multiple streams of income, and I'll show you guys how to do that at ironhustlesmindset.com. Um, but also, it's literally good to always have a network. I have people calling my phone daily. Hey, B, I got this for sale. I got that for sale. I got this phone. I got that phone. I got this phone. I got that phone. And you can literally sell phones to me and my 25 buyers literally by getting this buyer's price list. It's only $80 one time, okay? And guess what? This buyer's price list is going to help you make money, help you maximize your money. We, we give you the market value for tablets, watches, iCloud lock phones, passcode lock phones, used iPhones, new iPhones, Samsungs. That's all in this list, okay? And, and, and it's just this money, okay? This list is money. Now, when it comes to these ads, let me tell you something. An ad is great when you are being able to um, live and survive by yourself. That means you have a network, you got wholesale sellers. I define a wholesale seller as somebody that buys or 
get these devices from stores by setting up accounts or whatever they do to get these phones. I get, I, I have wholesale sellers, people that are selling me phones on a everyday basis. These people are my paychecks. Every week, I know these people are gonna come and they're gonna say, hey B, I got a phone. I got this phone, I got that phone, I got this, I got that, and I'm good with it. They are a income stream in their own sense, right? You need to have those. Then that's when you start these ads. Because now it's like, okay, I'm putting the icing on the cake. Now, instead of me consistently um, seeking out um, different type of leads, I can now automate and outsource. But you don't start by outsourcing. You don't start by doing no ad. So if you're somebody that's just starting out phone flipping, do not do Facebook ads straight away, okay? I'm gonna show you guys a low budget way to start these ads. Um, and it's gonna be an honest, transparent one. I see a lot of people, they're sitting here trying to tell people how to do Facebook ads, and it's, they full of crap. I, I'm not, like, I don't have no, no, no reason to BS. They full of crap. A lot of these people, they don't know anything, okay? They just literally are just creating ads. I'm gonna tell you my true opinion. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I recommend, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get it done. All right, so now what we're gonna do um, is I'm gonna show you first where the phone flipping buyers price list is. So the phone flipping buyers price list is at imhustlesmindset.com. So all you gotta do, go to imhustlesmindset.com, okay? Once you go to imhustlesmindset.com, you're gonna go to phone flipping and you're gonna hit buyers price list. Once you hit buyers price list, it's gonna be right here. Add that thing to the cart, get it, man. And I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna regret it. You're gonna be able to make this money work for you, not work for the money. Now, when it comes to the Facebook ads, okay? You better go to your ad manager, okay? You wanna look for the campaigns, you wanna go ahead and create a campaign. Once you create a campaign, you wanna go to engagement, all right? Now, this thing is gonna tell you all of these other things. Now, all of this stuff is beneficial in general, okay? All of this stuff is beneficial. All of this. But the main thing with Facebook, the reason why we choose engagement is because we technically do want leads, but we really want people to reach out to us and let us know, hey, listen, I got this phone, or hey, uh, my name is Joe, and I'm trying to sell this 13 Pro Max. What is your offer? We want these individuals to reach out to us. We want them to message us. We want to keep it on Facebook, to be honest. I don't want to get a lead to technically uh, call me on the phone. Why? <coughs> One, I have enough people calling me on the phone for my stores, but I find that me being able to get people on Facebook messaging me via Facebook Messenger, I sort of kind of have them in the bag. And what I mean by have them in the bag is I can follow up. They can't block me. They can't ignore my calls. I can see when they when they look at my message. It's an easier way to keep tabs. Right, so that is the reason why I choose engagement. Um, but sometimes with different things like electronics and stuff, I'll choose different options. All right, now we're gonna name our campaign um, Phone Buyer. That's what we're gonna put it right there. All right, now when we go down, we are gonna make sure that it's the auction. We're gonna show engagement. Uh, now, spending limit, okay. So we do want to say a spending limit. Our spending limit is going to be $5, okay? Now, $5 is our spending limit. Uh, oh, snap. Hold on, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. Let me do this real quick. So we don't want to do that. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, boom. Hold on. Okay, so we want to make sure that our daily budget, I'm, I'm talking about spending limit, because I was just doing Google ad video, a Google ad video, but daily budget, we want to make sure our daily budget $5, right? Make sure our daily budget $5, or what I would honestly say, if this is your first one, um, I would literally say lifetime budget $5. Now, why would I say lifetime budget $5, or they're going to say 30 Facebook is always changing. All right, daily, daily budget to $5, right? Now, why would I say that? I'm going to now say, okay, it's, it's November 26th, right? That's when we're gonna start. We're gonna end this on November 26th, okay? Now, the start time, we, we could say, um, oopsies, hold on. Okay, so the start time, $12.50, 
12 a.m. And the ending time could be uh, 11. I usually do say 11, so 11, right, 11 p.m. Now, why we, why do we do this? Like, what is the purpose, Brandon, of doing a five dollar budget for a day? The reason why you want to do a five dollar budget for the day is because a lot of people they they look at it and they're saying, okay, I want to pay X amount to promote my ad, but honestly, you don't know if that ad works. It takes a while for you to be able to understand what pictures resonate that you have with your clientele or the people in your area. And with this type of ad, we're targeting people in our area. Right now, you'll see like verified changes and telling telling you that you can change it in a certain amount of time. They're gonna tell you exactly what they wanna tell you, but Facebook is full of crap, okay? Let's make this clear. All of this stuff, they want to make money. Let's make this clear. Facebook wants to make money, all right? And that's cool. But I'm gonna tell you something that I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of putting my money into something that I don't know is going to get me results. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I would do a five dollar budget. You can even, you can even, I believe, do a two dollar budget. No matter what, do some type of budget. I'm actually going to do a two dollar budget because I want to see something. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a two dollar budget, which means that we're going to only spend two dollars, right? But my main thing is not to get a lead. That's not the point. My thing is to get engagement. I wanna see how many people click. I wanna see how many people see it. I wanna see how many impressions I get at the end of the day. So, prime example, if I get 12 impressions, uh, okay. If I get 30, okay. Like, we start small. We take baby steps. We're not here to sit there and try to um, to reinvent the wheel, right? Um, let me maybe learn. We're running for at least 24 hours. Okay, so if we have to, let's do this then, because I don't feel like hearing them screech and, and, and holler about this. Okay, so uh, we don't want to do that now. We got the pages, boom, boom, boom. All right, so now we have location, okay? Now, when it comes to location, now remember, the whole budget aspect, again, Facebook is trying to make money. I'm gonna tell you this right now. And the reason y'all don't hear me and haven't heard me talk much about Facebook ads is because I believe it's all a scam. The reason I believe it's all a scam is because if you are telling me right now, I got, let's just say, I have a few uh, people that are literally promoting um, that they buy phones around me personally, like I'm being serious. And you're telling me that you're gonna promote mine as well, so I'm just being put next to another person that's paying money, right? This right here, this reach, I want my my ad to reach not just a whole bunch of individuals, but the right people, right? I want this thing right here, conversions. It says zero conversions. That's completely fine. But I guarantee you, if I put this thing up to 100, right? Put this thing up to 100, it's going to tell me, okay, you're going to get this, and it's still getting zero. Um, this is the number of results that we estimate you to get, blah, blah, blah. So, and then let's just say I put it to this, right? I put it to this, still zero, right? Now, this does not necessarily tell me that this is law, but the reason I'm showing you this is because stop letting these numbers intimidate you. Don't let these numbers intimidate you. Don't let what's over here intimidate you. Let this rock out, let you do what you gotta do. Like, I'm not worried. I'd rather have a small group of people that are reach so that I can focus on a small audience. A small audience is going to help you better your listing, okay? Now, when it comes to location, we're going to take the United States out of it, okay? We don't want to hear that. We don't want to see that. You already know I'm in Philly. All right, so Philadelphia, okay? That's where I'm at, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the miles all the way down, okay? All the way down. I'm taking them to 10 mile, okay? 10 mile radius. I'm looking and I see Cherry Hill. I see Jersey. I see all of that. I would even go lower if need be, okay? If I could, but I don't think you can. Maybe, can you? No, you can't. So I'll do the lowest. I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to reach everybody from the rip. I'm not. If I, if I know for a fact I can get 30 impressions from 300 people, I'm good. I'm good. Because then I know, okay, this ad is working. Now let me put some money behind it, okay? Um, and I did just put up another ad recently, like literally a couple minutes ago. All right. So placement, we don't want to do manual placement, manual placement. That's cool and all. 
you can choose where it go and everything. But again, right now, we're not technically worried about that. We just worried about the impression. But let's just say that you want to get as as in depth as possible. I'm I would do manual placements, and I would take off Instagram. I would take off Messenger and audience network. Now why? Because people don't get on Instagram to buy anything. Okay, people don't get on Instagram to buy. That's why you don't see Instagram shop really anymore because they realized that Instagram was not a platform people wanted to shop at. Okay, that's not what it is. Okay, that's why I'm barely ever on Instagram in the first place because I'm where the money is. Okay, I'm not I'm not wasting my time. All right, I love Instagram or loved Instagram, but Instagram is full of distractions. Instagram is to keep you scrolling while the world is turning. Okay, now we're gonna keep everything right here. Fine. All right. Now, I wouldn't do stories or Facebook Reels. It's not really under under my thing. I'm not really with that, right? I just want people to see that I'm buying phones. When you are doing your offers on a daily basis, like I tell you guys to do your 10, 10 offers, right? You're not looking at Facebook feeds and Facebook Reels or Instagram Reels. What you're looking at, you're literally looking at um, marketplace uh, um, listings. You're looking at... Um, different posts that you might have in different groups like it's literally making sure that you're putting yourself in the right position to literally reach the smallest audience and convert that is the purpose of an ad you need to start small before you start putting a whole bunch of bread because believe it or not the more bread you put out the more people are going to see, the more people you see stretches out the law of averages, okay? The law of average is basically that if you hit a target or try to hit a target as many, as many times as you can, so the more you try to hit a target, the better you're going to hit it, right? But the difference is, is that that's not always true when it comes to me putting out my bread, my chicken. I had people put out a $1,000 ads and not get nothing. I'm not doing that, okay? We're going to hit next, all right? So now we're going to now start our um, our campaign, right? Now, I want to, I have my own template. I have all of that, right? I have all of that. But my main thing is I don't, um, Um, hold on, let me, the heck? Oh, okay. So, what we're gonna do is we can add the, we can, we can give it a name, so phone buying, okay, or whatever. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an image, okay? When we go to image, we're gonna add this, um, Um, and we're gonna add whatever image you feel is needed or you like. So I'm gonna, what does it say? Okay. So let's just do this one. I don't think. Boom. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you are then going to do the primary text. So primary text, man. Honestly, let me um, let me let me actually. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna say we pay cash for phones, right? So pay cash for phones, and you can put emojis. I'm I'm doing it on a computer. I usually do this on my phone, <laughs> but we pay cash. We pay cash for phones, um, and then I usually say uh, new used. Wait, new used crack. Why are my kids still <laughs> and locked? Right. Now, this is just a really simple one. Usually, I'll, I'll break it down like, uh, 
same day cash payment, right? Same day cash payment. Um, uh, meet in public area. Uh, we buy multiple devices, right? This simple one, right? So now, when it comes to that, like this is the chat that is going to be inside Messenger. We buy phones, right? So it could be anything. Like this is anything. So we buy phones. So it's saying five characters. Um, we we buy phones. right away right so it's going to send the message um yeah we just send the message right <coughs> okay and then um we can automate the chat so what can happen is we can automate the chat which that i'll cover that in another video i'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm putting as much as i can for you guys in a simple video now we'll publish it right publishing three of them different variations now what we're gonna do is we're going to follow up with this and we're gonna see exactly what this grants us um, in another video but again guys this is how I would set up my Facebook ads now do I have Facebook ads up right now yes for my connect wireless page I do but again I want you guys to make sure you are not just putting your bread into something that ain't going to give you a return. You need to have a marketing budget and abide by that marketing budget. And we'll talk about that in another video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And of course, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm not sure of what I see. Cupid, don't with me. Are you telling me this is a sign?